Today is an exciting day at the farm, and that's because we received a package for something we're going to be putting on the planter. It's time to show you guys what we're putting on the planter today. We got a bunch of harnessing and a bunch of small boxes that are filled inside here that we're going to be putting on. The little boxes aren't a dead giveaway since they don't say anything on the boxes. So I figured I'd open one up and show you guys what we're putting on and that's going to be an individual LED light that we're going to be installing on each individual row unit of the planter. In total, there's going to be 24 lights, one under each individual row unit and I just got to figure out where I got to wire everything to to make it work. I'm realizing there's going to be a fair amount of crawling under the planter that needs to be done to get each light mounted underneath. So we're going to take the planter outside, unfold it onto the cement, that way we've got a little bit more room to move around. the lights connect to the toolbar on the planter since there's nowhere to drill there's just some 3m sticky pads that i gotta put on the back side of each light to hold up to the bottom of the toolbar while i was getting the little sticky pads put on our lights here dad decided he's got to run some soybeans over to one of our seed customers so he's loading up the fifth wheel trailer there which means the planter is folded up so i'm just gonna wait for him to leave, then I'll back the planter back down here to start putting the lights on. I helped Dad get all of his seed loaded up on the trailer there, and now he's about to take off, which means I'm going to start backing the planter back down to the shop. To tell you the truth, Dad's not overly excited about me putting the wiring and all the lights on the planter. He's afraid it's gonna mess with the electrical configuration of the beaners. But I'm not quite as worried, so we're gonna keep going ahead on putting these cool lights on the planter bar. And the truth is, I'm not just adding the lights on the planter because they look cool. Already this year, we've had problems where barbed wire fence has got caught up in one of our tines at our row cleaner causing a huge burrow of dirt to build up on that row and hurting our germination of our corn. So by adding the lights, the thought is when we're planting at night, we should be able to see some more of those issues when we're riding up there in the cab down in front of the planter. Since we've already used the planter for this season, there's a fair amount of dust and some grease down underneath. So I'm gonna start wiping that off under each row before we put on the adhesive tape that holds the lights up on the toolbar, just so they have a little bit more grab to them. Now since I'm a perfectionist and want all the lights to be perfectly straight in line across the toolbar, we got our tape measure out. We'll start measuring and marking on the underneath of the toolbar where each light needs to go. All of the rows are marked now and ready for me to start sticking the light to the underside of the planter bar. I wasn't entirely sure how I wanted to do the four rows here under the CCS tanks since these rows sit back about 15 inches compared to the other rows. So I opted to just set the lights back an extra 15 inches. I thought that would look the best. That way the light will shine right on top of the row cleaner. So those ones will be set back 15 inches, but the rest of them should be straight across. Here we go with the first light on the bar. One down. 23 to go. I just finished, I got the first eight LED lights on under the toolbar and I figured, I should probably figure out if this is gonna work before I continue with the rest of the lights. What I mean by that is there's three different sections of eight rows on a branch. So since I have the first eight done, I'm gonna hook those up to the branch. 
and then connect that up to a battery and then try to figure out how I want to connect that up to the tractor or the batteries on the tractor to power it. First eight rows and the branch are hooked up. I brought a battery out here from our def tank. So I'm gonna hook it up to the battery. I'll set you guys down at the end of the planter so you can see what the lights are looking like. Although it's still bright out, you still get a gist of what the lights are gonna look like in front of the planter. The lights are looking good on those eight rows. So we might as well go ahead and pop on the next 16. All of the lights are installed here underneath the toolbar of the planter. I ran the power cord or the cabling for the light right here, right next to the parallel arms. And then this is what connects to the branch on each individual section. Right now the branches just have two bare ends that need to go up to either the tractor or the battery. And for now I'm just gonna leave them like this and decide if I wanna use butt connectors or put some sort of connection on here to branch all this stuff up to some power. Of course, now I get all the lights put on the planter. Just got to run the branch cords and it starts raining. So I'm going to back the tractor and planter back into the shop. I should still be able to put everything else up now that we have the lights under the toolbar. So for the rest of the project, I guess we're going to do it from the shop. lights installed on all 24 rows of the planter and I don't have the cabling it didn't come in the kit to hook everything up to the tractor over here so for today's purposes I'm gonna do a little bit more googling tonight to see what sort of cables I need to hook it up to the tractor or the battery but just to see what things are looking like and see the progress that we made I figured we'll kill the lights hook up a battery to the LEDs I have on the planter to see what it looks like we go three two one not so bad I went with the white option I thought they looked a little bit more professional they had blue green and red but I thought the white would match the rest of LEDs on the tractor so we just got the first aid on just because I only have the first branch hooked up to the battery but by the morning hopefully I got a plan figured out on how I want to hook up the other three branches and get it switched in to the tractor. Day two now of light installation on the planter. I picked up some wiring last night when I went into town and I found the best thing to do is to go directly to the seven pin connection on the tractor. Well, really the best thing to do would have been go to the battery, but since I don't want to snake a little wire all the way to the battery, we're just going to go to the seven pin, which is taking the power back to the tractor. So we're going to hook this up to that. And then I got some 12 gauge wire or smaller wire to branch off of our 14 gauge wire to the tractor to go to our three different branches across the planter bar. The only way to make the wiring going back from the planter up to the tractor look nice and clean and look factory is to go through this little draft tube here on the planter. And in order for me to have access to this, the whole length of the planter, I gotta bring the planter again back outside, fold it out, and then we'll start running the cabling. Shouldn't take that long. We should have all the wires hooked up. Uh, here's that seven pin connection that I was talking about. I just need to look online to see which of these seven pins is the hot and which one's the ground to hook my wire into. One of the benefits of going to the seven pin versus the battery is now from inside the cab, I'll be able to toggle on and off on the display, the lights on the planter itself. So rather than always having to go down or putting a switch down at the battery with the seven pin, at least now everything should be able to be run through the cab. I got my wire from the back of the tractor now to the back of the planter. It took a bit longer than I expected. I ran it through this wire tubing which is just gonna help keep the dust and debris off it now I just gotta split this end and start putting on some Delphi connectors to start hooking it up to the branches that we need and then we should have power everywhere we need to be it took 
a while, but here's what we accomplished. We now have all four of our cables at the same spot on the planter. The three smaller ones power the three individual eight row sections on the planter. And then our heavier wire here that we hooked up to the seven pin on the tractor, that's gonna be bringing the power to our other three cables. And since I'm not sure the best way to hook those up, tonight I'm just gonna be putting some wire nuts on them just to see and double check everything's working. Now I'm gonna hop up in the tractor, kick that on, and fingers crossed this is truthfully the first dry run. Hopefully the lights work because otherwise it's getting too late to have to go through everything again. <laughs> now if I did this right, I should just have to hit the switch here down on the armrest to turn the lights on to the implement and it should all light up. Here's the page on the tractor where I can control each individual light. So you see if I hit this one, it brings up the right front headlight. We can turn on the brights, go to our left headlight. And down here is where we turn on the lights for the planter. So we'll shut them off. So you can tell there's no lights back there on the toolbar. Come back down here. And now they're on. I honestly cannot tell you guys how happy I am that these lights worked on the first try of me hooking everything up. If you look down here on the bottom of the toolbar, like I was trying to show earlier, you can see that we got the light shining right down perfectly with the row cleaner. I'm glad that I measured them all exactly across and pleased with the results that I'm seeing here in the yard. If I'm being completely honest, now I'm really excited to get the planter out in the field, especially at night. That way we can put these cool lights to use. But the lights weren't the only thing that I got added onto the planter today. So let me show you guys what else I put on there. Ba -ba -da -da, a high-tech farmer sticker in John Deere emblem font on the planter toolbar. I think it's pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think down below. And I hope to see you in the next one.